Thank you very much, Riv, and welcome to the interview lounge, Voiboy from Curse Gaming. So, let's talk about the game that we've just seen there, Voiboy. What a fantastic matchup to start with. Very aggressive stuff. What were you expecting? Obviously, you were coming up to this, knowing that you were going to watch this match. Were you expecting it to be that crazy? Um, I definitely not, was not expecting it to be like so dramatic. We, kn we knew going into this, Royal Club and OMG, two of the top Chinese teams, uh, China, the LPL just famed for their aggression. I expected the games to be just all out brawls, and that's really kind of what we saw. Uh, this is not, obviously not the first time we've seen the, these teams go head to head uh, at the LPL finals that actually earned these teams their spot to Worlds. Uh, Royal Club beat out OMG before in a best of five series, and I was actually kind of expecting to see something similar. Um, they actually just blew me away. Uzi's plays were phenomenal. I was really impressed. So obviously we see the Fnatic uh, Royal going through to the semifinals. SKT1 already there as well. What are you thinking from these guys? They're up against Nanjing Sword, of course, in the finals. Is there anything that surprised you coming out of the groups, coming out of the quarterfinals? Obviously, we now have seen every single team play. Is there any of these teams that have really surprised you coming into this tournament? Um, I wouldn't say any like really big surprises. Obviously, everyone here is a top contender. Everyone is looking strong. I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised with Fnatic's success. Um, I've always been a fan of their dynamic play style. Like, you, cannot, you can never really count on what Fnatic's going to play like, mm -hmm. throughout the series, over the course of their history. Like, so as an XPK, they have such deep champion pools, they'll just whip out like anything. And here we see like double TP strats. They basically just play whatever they want, just try to build as much synergy as they can. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see like the contrast in play styles between Royal Club's Chinese aggression and the Fnatic like double TP, go for the mid to late game. Um, I think it's going to be really awesome to see. And obviously you play top lane yourself. Has there any been particularly in that top lane that's impressed you from any of these teams so far? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think for the most part, uh, Soaz has been really awesome to watch. He was instrumental in a lot of Fnatic's wins in the group stages, and they just came out strong with like some crazy Lissandra plays uh, versus Cloud9. Um, I would honestly say, like, I think, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> and of course, you're, you're playing for Curse Gaming. You've got a bit of a situation going on in Curse Gaming. What, what's happening exactly with Curse for Season 4? You guys obviously in the LCS. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't have the best season. Uh, we didn't make it here. We kind of disappoint our fans and ourselves, I guess. And we're now going to be fighting for relegation. But I think that it's definitely something that we all have our, our, our hearts and minds set on. Um, right now, we're sort of just evaluating our roster and maybe looking to make some changes going into the next season just to be as well prepared for relegation and the upcoming games as possible. So to be determined on that. To be determined. Well, 